Everything idle, including local celebs moving on to the next round. But first, your top stories at 10. Good evening, I'm Paige Calton. I'm John O'Connor. Tonight, a twisted mass of metal is what's left after two giant cranes collapsed earlier today out of Jacksport. Those two cranes then falling into a third. Yeah, the cranes came down during a round of severe weather this afternoon. Tonight, Fox 30's Mike Tolbert joining us from Jacksport. Mike, first of all, no one was hurt today. Page, no one was hurt. No one was working in the area at the time of the collapse. The focus will now shift to what caused that collapse. And right now, officials here at Jacksport believe Mother Nature is to blame. Three container cranes capable of reaching heights of 140 feet, almost 3 million tons of now mangled metal out of commission. It takes an incredible amount of force to, to move these cranes. I mean, this was something so uh, out of the ordinary. Officials say it all began with this crane. It had been shut down for repairs. We're told the crane was secured on the docks when a storm came through around 3.30 this afternoon. Officials tell us the crane was in this general area. It sits on rails. They believe the wind or some sort of weather event pushed the crane about 50 yards in that direction into another crane. Two cranes toppled and a third crane is even damaged. Emergency crews rushed to the scene. Their first concerns. How many people are on the terminal? How many people might have been in this area? And have we accounted for everyone? A head count showed no one was missing. No one hurt despite this massive mess. Structural engineers are on site working to figure out the exact cause of the collapse. Right now, they're leaning towards weather. This is one of those events that, uh, on appearance to us today, uh, is very, very unique, very isolated, and I think uh, in large part driven by what we believe was just uh, wind shear uh, coming through here in a very defined corridor and making a push on that crane at the right angle. Cleanup will begin as early as tomorrow. Officials estimate it will take three to five days to clean up the mess. We're still going to be able to operate. We're still in business. Blunt Island will operate. We have other cranes and we have other berth available to us. So this is fairly isolated into one area. And pretty amazing looking at that video to realize that no one was hurt. These cranes, though, as you saw, leaving behind a lot of damage that has to be cleaned up, a lot of expensive damage. Each one of these cranes cost about $6 million each. Reporting live from Jacksport, Mike Tolbert, Fox 30 News. All right, Mike Tolbert reporting. Thanks. Well, today's crane collapse marks 10 now crane accidents that have happened just this year all across the country. The most deadly, you may recall this one, happened in New York City back in March. A crane there went down, destroyed part of a Manhattan apartment building, and killed seven people. Investigators ended up arresting a building inspector for lying about ins examining that crane. They say that he lied about going out to check on it just weeks before that deadly accident. 